Welcome to the Platinum IP Camera Quick Setup Video Guide. We will go over some of the basic IP camera setup questions. This video will be broken up into three chapters. Chapter 1 will go over the camera basics and connections. IP Camera Power Connection PoE or 12 volt DC There are two ways to power an IP camera, either through the PoE or the external 12 volt DC power supply. It is important to know that connecting to both simultaneously may damage the camera itself. Cable Distance and Quality Network connection distance for regular IP camera through PoE can reach up to 300 feet. The minimum requirements for the camera cable is CAT5E. If the installation requires to go a longer distance, a PoE repeater is needed to double the range. PoE Power over Ethernet Each PoE port should directly connect to the IP camera only. Only the uplink provides 1000 megabits in bandwidth. Why choose an LTS PoE switch? It can go a much longer distance. Regular PoE goes up to 300 feet, but with the LTS PoE switch with the extend mode on, the LTS IP camera can reach out to 880 feet. It's much more powerful. The LTS PoE switch can support more network buffer memory and 8 pins powering, resulting in less power loss and a much stronger signal. Stability is improved. Our PoE switches includes a surge protection up to 4000 volts and a premium UL power supply to stabilize your power condition. Chapter 2 will go over how to activate and set up the camera for the network and go over some common setup questions and answers. Simply connect the IP camera and your PC to the same router. You can find the IP portal software on our website at www.ltsecurityinc.com backslash downloads. Install the software and follow the instructions. Next, you will run the software after installation. After the software has loaded, all your LTS devices should show up on the screen in the main menu. How do you activate your camera? First, select the device ID box, then enter the password, and finally the activate button. Your camera is now activated. If an export GUID and set security question prompt appears, click cancel to skip. How do you modify the IP address of the camera? First, select the device. Next, go to the modified network parameters area and check the enable DHCP box and modify the IP address. Enter the admin password here. Then click on the modified button to save. How do you reset the camera? Very simple, there are three ways to reset the camera. First is a hardware reset where it'll go back to the factory default settings. Just press and hold the reset button on the camera while disconnecting the power for 20 seconds. Then reconnect the power while still holding the reset button for an additional 10 seconds and then you can release the reset button. The camera will be deactivated and returned to its factory default state. Next is a software reset. You will have to log into the camera as admin, go into the configuration tab from the main menu. Then under maintenance, there will be two options, restore and default. Restore will retain the IP address and password for you. Default will go back to the factory default settings, deactivating the camera. The third one is password reset. Using the IP portal, select the camera and then click on the forgot password button. A prompt will come up asking you to export the credential key. You must email it to the LTS tech support team. Keep in mind the key will change every day so don't delay. After getting the unlock key back from your LTS tech support representative, choose the folder icon and select the file. Enter the new password and reconfirm it. By pressing the confirm button, it will reset to the new password. Account locked. If you find yourself having your account locked due to entering the incorrect password six times, it will automatically lock the login for five minutes as a security measure. To disable the security feature once you are able to log in, first make sure you are using Internet Explorer. Go to the Configuration tab, then under System, Locate Security. Slide on over to Security Service and uncheck the Enable Illegal Login lockbox. SD Card. Please check the LTS website for the SD card compatibility list before using the card for the camera. If your camera has a built-in storage recording function, you will need to log into the camera to set it up. To do this, first insert the SD card into the camera. Next, go to the configuration tab in the main menu. Move on over to storage management and under HDD management, select the box of the SD card that appears below and click on format. 
Next, go to the Event tab on the left, then Basic Event, Motion Detect, and then under Linkage Method, enable the Upload to FTP Memory Card box here. Audio Support If your camera has audio capabilities, by default it will be disabled and you will have to enable it. First, go to Configuration from the main menu, then find Video Audio tab on the left. Under the Video tab, look for the video type and make sure you select Video and Audio under the drop-down menu for both Mainstream and Substream. Once saved, the camera will reboot. You should now be able to hear audio coming from the camera. In Chapter 3, we will discuss how to set up your IP camera through the smartphone device and browser support. Setup Location Run the NVMS 7000 app and tap on the logo on the top left. In the drop-down menu, tap Devices, then find the folder plus icon in the top right and tap on Manual Adding. Fill in your DVR and NVR IP information here, and once you are finished, tap on the disk icon to save. Tap on the Start Live View button to connect and begin Live View. How to copy one location setting into another cell phone. Run the NVMS 7000 app on the first smartphone device, and tap on the logo on the top left. In the drop-down menu, tap Devices, then find the folder plus icon in the top right and tap on Generate QR Code. Select the location of the device here, then tap on Generate. You should be able to see a QR picture in the center of your screen. Put this aside for now, as you will need it later. With the other smartphone device, go to the logo, then Devices, Folder plus icon, tap on the Scan QR Code, and go ahead and scan the QR code and all the settings will be copied over to this smartphone device. Browser Support Currently for Windows, it is Internet Explorer 11, and for Apple users, it is Safari. First, use the Internet Explorer to log in. If you are using Windows 10, Edge Browser is not supported, so please make sure to use Internet Explorer or else the plugin will not load properly. After successfully installing the plugin after the prompts and click on the Allow button at the bottom of your screen, you can view the grid in the window. Click on the Start All Live View button here to watch all the cameras at once. Thanks for watching the Platinum IP Camera Quick Setup Video Guide.